I have to ask you a question about uh, Donald Trump's statement yesterday talking about suspending uh, the Constitution, your reaction? Well, you know, when President Trump was in office, I didn't make a habit of speaking out of his tweet du jour. I don't know what came out on his, whatever his new social platform is, but uh, uh, you know, people were not interested in looking backwards. The people who gave us the majority, and again, we, we, we barely won it. We barely eked it out, so let's be straight about where we're at. They gave us an opportunity, and we need to perform, and we need to care about the issues that they care about, which is how do they lower the cost at the pump, now, I know when I go into Heinen's that the price of everything I buy, eggs, bacon, toast, it all goes up, right? It hasn't gone down. And again, people have to live within a budget. What are we doing to make sure that they fall within that budget? What are we doing to make sure that their lives are better? And how do we continue to make sure that they have the jobs and uh, the economy is stable and they have the jobs to be able to live and, and take care of their family? But Donald Trump was your nominee in 2016 and 2020. You voted for him mm -hmm. in 2016 and 2020. Now he's talking about suspending the Constitution. Can you support a candidate in 2024 who's for suspending the Constitution? Well, again, it, it's early. I think there's going to be a lot of people in the primary. I think at the end of the day, uh, you will say, uh, whoever the Republicans end up pick, I'll fall in behind because that's... Even if it's Donald Trump and he's called for suspending the Constitution? Well, again, I think it's going to be a big field. I don't think Donald Trump's going to clear out the field like he did in the 60s. That's not what I'm asking. I'm asking you, if he's the nominee, will you support him? Uh, I will support whoever the Republican nominee is. And I just don't think that at this point he will be able to get there because I think there's a lot of other good quality candidates out there. It's a remarkable statement. You just, you'd support a candidate who's come out for suspending the Constitution? Well, you know, he, he says a lot of things. Uh, you have to take him in context. And right now, uh, it, I have to worry about making sure as a Republican governance group and a Republican majority that we make things work for American people. And I can't be uh, really chasing every one of these crazy statements that come out about from any of these candidates at the moment. But but that's an extraordinary statement. You can't come out against someone who's for suspending the Constitution? Well, first off, he has no ability to suspend the Constitution. Secondly, But he I says he's for it. Well, you know, he says a lot of things. That, uh, but that doesn't mean that it's ever going to happen. So you've got to accept uh, exact fact from fantasy. And fantasy is that the, we're going to suspend the Constitution and go backwards. We're moving forward. And we're going to continue to move forward as a Republican majority and as a, a Republican conference. I don't see how you can move forward if your candidate is for suspending the Constitution, but thank you for your time this morning.